Alright, we're going into like a valley now, so I thought I'd bring it back. Look at that dip. Whoa, it definitely revs high. We've got to the 10,000 rev range. And it's really zippy when it does that. Stick quick again. Yeah, that's a definite difference between the XR and the GSA is the rev range, I think. I think the GSA red line's at 8. This one red line's at 11. So, definitely higher revving stuff. Crooked again, far out. Face this way. That should do it. Oh, the other, the other thing that's great about the XR is the the torque throughout the revs. So from low to high, see, there's good pulling all the way. So it doesn't really matter where you are, good pulling force all the way through the range. Pretty cool. But it's nice. Nice, nice straight road. Oh, oh schmeckers. bit of lawn the moment, mate. Gee, it's got a few K of lawn. Oh, stopped over there, okay. Nice bit of property. With the trees blocking out the wind. Look at that, eh? Cool. Trees blocking out the wind. There's a bend here. Oh, there's two bends. Here we go. Let's back it off. We've got two bends. Here's one.
there it is. I can see it. It's coming up. You know, it can be bumpy on this, but at least, um, you know, it's good. The way the tank's designed and the seating position, your legs really lock in. So, it's, it's a good that you can hug, you get a nice hug of the tank with your legs. That's a good thing. So, even though it gets bumpy, you can hold yourself steady with just a light squeeze of your legs on the tank. That'll keep you in check. Check. One, two. Check. Gee, it's getting a bit chilly out here. I might have to put on my plug in my heated vest. I've got the heated vest, I just need to plug it in. I might have to plug it in. So we're on Bolinda Dara Dara Wait Road. Bolinda Dara Wait Road. Oh this is the other corner. So many corners, I don't know what to do with them. <laughs> oh look at those barrels of wet, eh? cruiser that's my kind of stuff <laughs> that's all the power and all the speed and all the comfort in one spot I'd rather be on that really this XR feels like fun to ride but unless you're on a racetrack the K will do it all um, do what the XR does but in in lounge room comfort really nice I'm a comfort freak, put it that way. Definitely a comfort freak. And that the many years I've been riding with panniers and stuff and couring, um, those panniers don't they don't bother me. I can I can still get through traffic, um, filter lane split. Not as easy as this, but I can still do it. No worries. It's it's no big deal. Tea break time. Oh, there you go, I was right. Tea break time. Or is this collection time? Might be just collection time. Like regroup time, you know what I mean? Might be just regroup time. Photo time. Photo oh, time. Photo. Uh, that's where I belong. Uh, <laughs> I just say, you know, 
those little litter boxes just now. What? They're all themed. Oh, what? They all had a theme to them. There's all gas tanks and. Ah. Fire, you know, pots. Yeah. Yeah, they go all right, the EXR. Yeah, I like them. Very happy. Hey, what are you riding in? Dynamic? Sorry? Dynamic mode? I just have a uh, road mode. Road? Yeah, it has to be that. Yeah. I, I like uh, the sound of the exhaust when you go into dynamic. Um, oh, it's a different sound. Yeah, it's got like a popping sound. Yeah. Is that why I like it? Yeah. I got it in dynamic. Yeah. And I always go, ah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's really good. But it, it does retard the traction control and the ABS a bit. Ah. Uh, so I noticed I was sliding around when I was being a bit silly. But, uh, I yeah, I slid around yesterday a bit, but not too much, just a bit. Yeah, I thought I was a bit road. Yeah. Is the suspension diff different on the road and dynamic? Harder or softer? I didn't notice any difference. I don't know if it changes the suspension. No. I think you can still adjust the suspension independently. So I don't think it actually has a preset. Yeah. Suspension. I've got the suspension in dynamic. Yeah. I think I have too. Yeah. But that when you select right. dynamic mode, it doesn't have a preset suspension. No. I like, I had so comfortable now, which is about a little bit of extra zoom through the gear. It's this is a GS. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. It feels the same as the GSA. Yeah. It's very comfortable. Anyway. I saw you standing up before. You can stand up quite comfortably. Yeah. Yeah. They're very similar. Yeah. Well, I guess that's what they've done all their development. Isn't it? The GS. Sorry. They've done all their development on the GS. Yeah. Have you seen the um, the XR with dirt tires? No, I haven't seen it, but um, it would, I would imagine it would be a bit of fear. I've more seen it, yeah, I've seen an XR with the bash plate, dirt tyres, like, uh, and a softer suspension, like a dirt setup. Yeah, it wouldn't hurt. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I'll uh, do that though, happy with road tyres. If you were a bit of a rev head and you wanted to do a bit of dirt occasionally, And things and yeah, yeah. Very easy around the city and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah with w with the GSA, you got to watch your lean because it's heavy. With this one, it's yeah. easy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was just saying before. Um, it feels like my old Ninja. Yeah, ninja. Yeah. I mean, the Ninja's smaller, yeah. but after you've ridden for a while, yeah. getting on this feels like a, yeah. a tiny Ninja. Yeah. There you go, bit of story for you on the XR. Now we're going across Darrow Welt Valley Road. Waiting for my coffee break. That's what I'm waiting for. I thought we were nearly there. Yeah, so good to get some feedback from another XR rider. They're good bikes, so comfy, and all with that sporty feel still. It's pretty cool. I think Nick the Quick's coming up again. There he goes. He's always pulling the quickie, Nick. Nick the Quick, Nick the Quick, Nick the Quick, Nick the Quick. Hmm, 
go, 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 gadget. Go, go. Go, go, gadget, Boona. Go, go, gadget, rocker. I was just thinking, I probably want to sell or trade my bike soon and because um, the two years are up in May so I want to do the roadworthy before May and make sure it's all in good nick and then probably sell it or keep it, that is the question. Try and keep it, really. <gasps> oh, thank God for the flip-top helmet. Yeah, there's your reason for the flip-top. <laughs> Doesn't happen often, but it will happen. And you don't want to do it inside.